Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm TJ. I'm a PhD student candidate uh, here. So I'm going to show you how to make your master's portfolio in VIA. Funny story, I already did this video once, but I had my background set as Batman, and that's not allowed to be uploaded because it's copyright infringement. So it's kind of funny, but I hope I'm not copywriting anything um, this time. Um, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you how to upload your, uh, create your portfolio in VIA. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. Too bad I can't see you in person to do this, but you know, that's how life is right now. So, all right. So before you start, you're gonna go well, not before you start. To get started, I had emailed you all. Um, some, well, actually, all of you who are graduating in spring 2021, all of your VIA um, login information. If you're seeing this at some point in the future, um, I've probably not emailed you this, um, but I might have. So either way, you have a login information on how to get into your VIA account. Um, so let's see. I think I'm probably automatically logged in, so I'll just log out so you can see what it looks like uh, sign up okay so in your email you'll have your login information and how to set up your account um, if you don't have that please let dr christian or myself somebody know and we can get that sorted out so here's where you'll log in i've already set up my account so i'm just going to log in here wonderful so this is where all your classes are. You should uh, all be familiar with, with this, at least for either applying for practicum or inter intern <laughs> internship or for um, your classes. So you're all getting more familiar with what VIA is, but I'm gonna show you a different function of VIA. So you're gonna go to showcase. And as you can see, so this is where you'll create your portfolio. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of ones here that I've created over time. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to create one. So first I'll show you what mine looks like, and then I'll show you what a completed one would look like. Um, so this is the one that I created for my PhD uh, portfolio, which is much different than your, your master's one. Um, so you'll see a bunch of stuff on there, but you don't need to necessarily worry about that right now. Um, unless you're going to go into a PhD program. I just want to show you, oh, this is, I mean, I wanted this, but I wanted to like see it, you know? Oh, view, there it is. Um, so VIA has updated, updated over winter break and I haven't been on it as much as I have. So still getting kind of familiar with um, it, but this is what my portfolio looks like. And I'll show you how to do all these fun things. Um, I've got the different sections here on the left. And then scrolling down, it's got all of the stuff that I've uploaded, all the things I've completed, um, and all the requirements I had to complete um, for my PhD portfolio. Um, so kind of be similar to what yours is going to look like. So I'm going to get out of here, go back here, close this, and then show you how to actually create that. So um, first thing. I'd like to say you're probably like where what is this portfolio where do i get this information that's a great question if you go to cned.uark.edu and you go over here on the to where it says forms and resources masters of science and counseling handbook this first one right here click that and then let's see what page it's on i don't remember that's probably because I just do this control find portfolio. So it is on page 10. Um, all students, so this is where you will find the stuff that you need to upload to your um, portfolios. And a lot of these are um, assignments that you've uh, completed over your time in the counseling program. Um, as you can see, um, your uh, theories paper that you've completed, you'll upload that. Um, and then other materials, um, you'll need to upload these as well. So it's all right here. 
Um, and you, the, the good thing about y'all who are starting this now is you'll be uploading these things to VIA anyway. So they'll already be in there. You would just need to link them to your um, portfolio. Okay. I'm partly worried that I'm not sharing my screen right. So I'm gonna try it again. I think it's working. I don't know, I'm sure it is or isn't. So um, here's the, where you make portfolios. And down here in the bottom right, you'll see a little plus, and then you can do create showcase. Do, do, do. So this is where um, you start to edit the things that you saw on mine. Um, so if you, like right now, this blank thing here where it says page one blank, this is where the content will go. Up here, add title. You'll add your title here. So um, now you'll just put your title here, TJ's portfolio. Um, put that there. So you see, this is where you will put your content. Over here on the left is what you would select that would go in there. Probably what you would mostly be concerned about would be text and attachments and timeline. So I'm gonna show you what a text would look like. See, it says click here to add text and then start blah, blah, blah. This is my portfolio to for graduation. Um, and then you can do all the things that you would normally do with text, adjust it here. And then say I wanted to add an image, collect you know, oh, sorry, I think I moved a little too quick. So you hit image and it pops up in here and then you just click on that. Then you hit upload. I don't know if I have any pictures. So um, you just choose your file like you normally would. Um, pick an easy one here, um, a Harry Potter thing. So that's, I gotta add Harry Potter and then save. As you can see, it uploaded there. Um, now, there's other ways that you can set this this uh, little uh, section up. Um, so if you hit this in the the left bottom left of the screen there, you can choose the column layout for the one below it. So say I want to do one between three of them. So then I've got three here and they would be all in the same row like this, but it would just look different. So add text here, portfolio <laughs> test, and then say I wanted to add an image here. Let's try it again. Harry Potter, upload that. And then say I wanted to do an attachment of a file over here. Um, Attach a file, upload, um, and I'll show you how to do the, um, how to connect it to your timeline as well. So I'm just uploading a PowerPoint. Takes a second, there it is. And then you hit save. So then you'd see all the three things that you have are right there or that you wouldn't want are right there. And you can like, you can do a three, two. So the, this, you can kind of play around with this and you kind of do whatever you would like with it. Um, the way I've set it up, mine up is through different pages. Um, so you can continue to just add these all the way down. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, if you're like me, you wanted to add page, I would hit add new page and then it would just start over, right? Um, so, Oh, some of this stuff is new on page one. Okay, so I'm gonna edit the title of them, page two. So I know, but that's where I would put like, um, theories paper, easy. So now I'm gonna show you how to link in your, your stuff from your timeline. Um, so you go back to components, you hit timeline. Now I don't have a ton of stuff uploaded in my timeline. I have a little bit, but for you all who are graduating, um, or who have been using this up until their graduation, you'll, you should have quite a few things in your timeline to be able to link. Um, oh, look at that, I do have a few things. Um, I don't know, what's the difference between gallery and timeline? Let's see. I don't know, it doesn't look much different to me. So um, I need to, I'm just gonna pick something here, um, a time task analysis from my internship. Um, I'm gonna select all. 
So you could put um, just the file and I'm just gonna put that. But if I got feedback on it, I could do that. And let's save. So as you see it linked there. So rather than having to upload a file you already have in your VIA, um, what you'll do is you, the, what they would do is, let me see if I can get to the preview button. View, okay. Show you what the, like this sample, this ugly sample one would kind of look like. So here's the one where I didn't split it up. The one where I did split it up. Oh, where's my, oh. So this is page one. You see, you have to go to page two over here. And if I wouldn't have done pages, you could have just scrolled all the way down. So theories paper, see it's right there. And then whoever's reading this, they would click that and it would take you take them to where you've uploaded that and they would be able to review that. So, gosh, I think that's, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think there's a ton left on it. Um, so make sure you're saving your syllabi, your assigned uh, papers. Um, if you're graduating in spring 2021, you might have to round some of those things up because of uh, you haven't been using VIA as long. Um, you know, I started on the, I, I had to present this in June. I started working, uh, getting all my stuff together and, April and May, but that was, uh, there was a lot more to upload for the PhD, but it's helpful to have these things ready, um, just so you're not spending a lot of time and um, the ones who are using VIA um, for a lot longer um, in the program, you're really going to benefit from this because it's going to be a lot easier. Um, you can also change themes. Um, oh, there's different ones now. Um, like you can do this, like you saw mine, I uploaded pictures and stuff to make it pretty. You, you know, that's up to you, however you want to do that. Um, let me just make sure there's nothing else under here that would be, I don't know what my info is. Oh, this is new. Okay. So this is something new too, is uh, it would have your information there. That could be something to have right at the top. Oh, also you can move things around. So say I was like, oh man, I wanted this to be up top. It didn't really work. I'm going to try it again. Okay. That didn't really work. Let's see if I can get it. I feel like that's gonna work. Ah, bingo, I got it. So you can move things with this little arrow here. You can also go in and edit, or if I was like, I don't want this Harry Potter picture anymore, delete it. Same here, we can move things around. Um, and then I can move, like I just added all that. This is, stuff is pretty intuitive. Um, I feel like if you're able to handle like the social media things that you use, this this um, should be pretty simple for you. Um, oh man, I wish I had a picture. Ooh, gender, I didn't, didn't ever pick my gender on here. That's interesting. So um, this is some, I'm learning some new things as I sit here with you all watching this. Um, so these are some, these are main, the main things you'll need is timeline, attachments, text, and maybe image. Um, so you set it up however you want to be creative with it. Um, I have sent Dr. Christian, I believe I have it public, my, my portfolio. Um, you could always look at that if you want as a guide. Um, but again, the PhD one is so much more comprehensive, has a ton of information in it. Um, but if you want to see, just see how I set it up like um, and use that as a template, that's fine. Um, but Dr. Christian has that information. So um, I think that's about it right now. Uh, oh, so yeah, if you wanna see this, you would go to Showcase. I'm sorry, I should have showed you how to share it. Let's get back into it. Showcase will show all your portfolios that you've done. I have a lot because I've done this quite a few times just to show examples. So you hit share if you wanna share it and you hit public um, copy URL. What I would do is I would just send that to the folks that you need that need to see it. Um, so that like if you need to send it to Dr. Popejoy or Dr. Christian, they can just see it, um, but only share that with the people that you need to share it with. All right, I think that's about it, y'all. Um, this was fun. I hope I don't have any copyright infringement on this one. Y'all have a good day. Um, if you need to ask any questions, um, you can email me. My t email is tj 
S-C-H-O-O-N at uark.edu. Again, that's T-J S-C-H-O-O-N at uark.edu. That's for now. I don't know. You know, that I don't know when you'll be seeing this video. It could be 2024 for all I know, and I might not have that email anymore. So um, then I would just ask a faculty member and they'll know who to send you to. I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.